Hi, this is David again with the North Harris County Dulcimer Society. This is the instructional part of the video on how to play Shenandoah. On this song, like I said, you'll we'll play it by tablature and by notation. And we'll go measure by measure and line by line. So let's try to see if we can learn to play this. It's a very easy song to play, very beautiful song to play. So let's do this. You'll notice on your first measure it is an A if you're in notation or an open string on your dulcimer on the second string. Then it goes to a D, D, D. But look, you've got an interesting thing here with this part of the song. On your second measure you'll notice a dot by the open or by the quarter note. What that means is you're going to hold that quarter note just a shade longer than you would a regular quarter note. Not as long as a half, just maybe a quarter more. So actually instead of a quarter you have like a three quarter note instead of an eight. So the way you play it is open, open, and you'll notice that that note ties in to the next measure. If you're playing by notation, that's A, D, D, D. Now we're going to the third measure. And you, of course, have your tie-in D, tie-in open. And then you have a walk-up, which is from the D, E, F-sharp, A. Or if you're tabbing it, open, one, two and four. So let's play that. Again, one more time. In your fourth measure you'll see two half notes. One's a B, one's an A. Or on your dulcimer it's fifth fret and fourth fret and it'll be played like this. Now notice that on the fifth fret it ties into the fourth fret so actually you have a half note, a quarter note, and a quarter note R, A, D, and C sharp. If you're playing by tablature you have a four, seven, and a six and a half. Or six, yeah, six and a half. So it would be played this way. Again. Now let's just play that first line very slowly so you can see how it's supposed to be played. Okay, that's the first measure, the first line. The second line, which would be your sixth measure, is a B, or on your dulcimer, the five, and it's held for a full four beats. Then you have four quarter notes, which would be in tablature, five, four, five, four, our in notation will be B A B A. So let's play that. In your eighth measure, you have a. In, I have a cat coming by here. In your eighth measure, you have a quarter and a and a like a three quarter. It's a half with a dot, which means you hold it a little bit longer. So that's a, that's a three quarter and it ties into the next measure. So you have a two four or you have an F sharp A. Going to your ninth measure, you have your A which has been held and then you go F sharp A again. R four, two, four. And in your tenth measure on this line, 
you have an, you have another uh, quarter note with a dot, which I, as I said, hold it just a shade longer, a, a eighth note, and then your uh, your half note. So it would be. Next line, you have in your 11th measure a B, F sharp, A, B, or on your dulcimer tab, 5, 2, 4, 2. So it goes. Or, sorry, that's how it goes. In your twelfth measure, you have two half notes. One is an E and one is a D. On your tablature, it would be a one and an open. On your thirteenth measure, you have an open, an open and a one, or a D, D, E. And then you have a whole note in your 14th measure, which is a F sharp, or on your dulcimer, F sharp is the second string. Now you have four quarter notes after that, which is F sharp, D, F sharp, and B. Or if you're tabbing it out, two, open, two, five. Sorry. Let's play that one more time. I may even make mistakes, see? And then you go to your next... Well, let's before we go to the next line, let's just play this out. Now on your last line, you will see you have a whole note, which is an A, but if your whole note is an A, would be a uh, four, uh, your fourth fret. So it's this. And then you'll see on your 17th measure, it is an A, then a D, then an E, or on your dulcimer, fourth fret, open, first fret. And then on your 18th, yeah, I thought that was 17th. This is 18th. You have a three-quarter note, not a half, a three-quarter note, and a quarter note, which you'll see is a two with a little dot on it, which is an F sharp, and then a D, which is open. And your 19th measure you will see an E and then a D that's sustained and carried over to the last, which is a the 20th measure, which is an E and a D, or on your dulcimer, it's the first fret and open. So let's play that line out. Now let's try to play this entire song very slowly so you can see how it's played. Now that's the, that is the very basic way to play this song and there's a lot of things that can be done to embellish it and I'll let you work on that yourselves. Let's try to play the song all the way through as sweetly as we can now. 